dream that someday I would just fly, fly away And I always knew I couldn't stay So I had a dream that I'd just fly away Hi, I'm Yasmin And I'm Marie And this is our second episode on my YouTube channel Today, me and Marie are going to show you how we pack the horse box for a stay away competition um, And a few tricks and some tips along the way Perfect. <laughs> so Re is just packing the rugs. You want to know what rugs I've got? In, yeah. Okay. Tell us. <laughs> so. So Re just wants to show everyone the rugs that she's packing. So I've got three stable rugs. So they're so. stable rug, just a little bit thicker. Not too thick because it's not too not too warm, not too cold. Oh, what a lovely rug! Let me see that. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> But with the lovely unpredictable English weather, I like to pack a stable rug. I also like to pack a little sheet because then that way they can wear the little sheets. If it's cold, they can wear the stable rug. And if it's extra cold, they can wear both of them. And you'd like to think in September that won't be necessary. <laughs> but I said no. September is actually August. But nonetheless, <laughs> To, there's a saying about preparing to fail. I don't know what that is, so maybe I'm failing. <laughs> don't know. Also, a fly rug. We usually only use that just if they go into the ring. Keep the bugs off them. We've also got a trusty rain sheet because we all know that, that we need one of those in rain England. Sheet as well. And then we've also got a nice little sheet for Tommy that he likes to wear. Again, that's got his little chevrons on. Oh, showing us how you fold. Pressure's on. Boom. These have to be folded a bit smaller so that my lid will fit on. So that's your rug box, ready to go into the truck, all organised. And organized. then once that's empty, one that makes a good bed for Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just packing the numner box. So we will have a numner for each day per horse. Um, obviously, Tommy wears that one because that is Liam Payne's chevron. Um, and then we have some Vestron ones, which is one of my sponsors. And we're also going to take the Voltaire ones. And then you go. How are you getting on there, Ray? Great. What I like to do is mm. make sure that I pack everything mm -hmm. so that I can transport it myself. Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Technique is on form. Hmm? Technique's on form. Good techers. <laughs> so, just showing you guys my tack trunk. It's quite dark, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then Ree's down there, we've got like a grooming box that we take to the stables. Um, and we just hang it up and it's got like everything we need in it. Like brushes, any little first aid kits, hoof oil whitening stuff things like that um, and then behind Reed and if you can see we've got my very solid water buckets that I hang up in the stables um, on baling twine and little clips so obviously baling twine and clips will be on our list so here we are with my amazing tack box that I take to the shows it's just really handy because it's literally we hang it up on the stable door um, and it's got all my essential products in it so baby wipes really handy for just wiping over things um, wiping over their faces before they go in the ring and things like that. Mane and tail, this is my favourite one, uh, Karen Day and Martin, it's the best one I think for um, their tails and mane, some more um, towels, baby oil, I like to make them have a shiny face, look pretty. Um, behind here we've got my Supreme Products Leg and Body Whitener, it's the only thing that makes my grey horse Dominic grey white. Um, <laughs> it's an absolute lifesaver. Uh, hoof oil, we've got some fly spray brushes, in here we've just got handy things, I really like my, these are actually my favourite little red ribbons because they're like cute little bows um, for the stallions just to put in their tails so no one comes too close to them. Um, we've got their stable numbers, just a handy box to have right at the stables um, and you can just put anything in there, drinks, whatever you want. So we're just going to show you what we've packed so far into the truck. So we've got our tuck trunk, tack trunk which we use to store a lot of things just to travel um, and then when we get to the show we'll completely reorganise it with what we need at the stables and then it's like padlocked up 
um, by the stables, literally full of our equipment. So we don't have to do lots of trips to the... Um, then you can see Regis is going to close that up and we will leave the whole partition in the middle as well. Just we're very fortunate that the lorry actually takes 10 horses. So we have so much space. So we're going to um, leave a whole space there, shut it so there's nothing. The horses literally can't be anywhere near it uh, travelling. So we travel the horses with hay nets on the way to show, especially like slightly longer journeys, so they just keep happy. Um, so Reed's just tying up a hay net here. We leave a gap as well in between our stallions. Again, we're fortunate, so we use the space that we have in this mahusif lorry. Um, but it's just for extra precaution, really. We don't really need it. As you can see, we've got these fantastic stallion partitions, so it's very secure for them. And then Ree is just bringing in our show wheelbarrow, smoothly done, uh, again which will be stored in this spare partition um, and we can also put a few more hay nets in there as well and that's obviously perfect for the other side at the show for lots of different reasons, mucking out, taking stuff to the stables, just generally Maybe very happy. Yeah, great, it's like a giant game of Jenga. <laughs> Therese so just putting um, all those hay nets in there now securely, closing the partition up, ready for the gap and a horse to go next to it. Also one of the handiest tools to have is the fork and the brim for mucking out. And then we have taken 12 bales of shavings, so that'll be four each, so I'm taking three horses this weekend. Um, it's just easier for us to take our own ones with us. Often we don't use them all, but we've got the option if we do. Then in this locker we have got feed. Again, I'm only taking the three horses, so um, won't need as much as we might if we were taking a lot more. Some supplements, and there are our water buckets. I really like these water buckets because they're super sturdy, the horses can't. So in this locker we take this great container. Um, it's just quite handy, especially at stay away shows. Um, if the tap is quite far away from the stables, just to have it filled up with water, just to top up the water buckets in between they get fresh water as much as possible um, but like little top ups that's quite handy um, spare bucket in case for like washing down and stuff and then we just take a hose pipe again you never know you might need it it's quite handy so earlier on you will have seen that we packed the um, the box full of rugs so that's now in this locker we've got steps which I use to get on the horses the other side of the show and also for like putting drapes up and things handy tool box of numbers um, this is the grooming kit you can see it very well there. You've also got a first aid kit behind for the horses and the humans. And um, we've got plenty of towels for washing them down, drying legs and things, um, and just general bits and bobs, you know, like cleaning materials for the horses. So in the back of the lorry, we've already put the tack in ready. Um, we don't like to fill the tack trunk up because it just gets too heavy to load. So we just store it all in here for the journey. Um, and then when we get there, we will take it out and put it into the trunk and padlock it up. Thank you for watching our episode. I hope you enjoyed it and you was able to pick up a few hints and tips on what to take to a stay away show. Stay tuned, we've got a lot more to come. Please subscribe, share our videos and comment anything else that you might like might want to see. And I had a dream that someday I would just fly, fly away And I always knew I couldn't stay So I had a dream that